In this video, I'm going to be discussing whether there's a difference between Gmail and Outlook when it comes to cold email deliverability. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is George. I'm the founder of Email Chaser. Now let's get into the video. The short answer is that there's no difference. Both Gmail and Outlook are great for cold email and they have really good deliverability. To be clear, when I say Gmail and Outlook, I'm actually referring to Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 email accounts. I'm specifically talking about professional email accounts that are set up through Google and Microsoft. I'm not referring to personal email accounts. You don't wanna send your cold emails from a personal email account such as at gmail.com or at outlook.com. That's a really bad idea, don't do it. Instead, you wanna set up a professional email account on a domain, for example, george at email chaser.com or george at getemailchaser.com. That's what I'm referring to when I say Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. The reason why you want to use Google or Microsoft to set up your professional email accounts when sending cold emails is because they have the most trusted email servers in the world, meaning that your emails are more likely to go to the primary inbox. If you're sending your cold emails from more questionable email service providers, then they're much more likely to go to spam because the big companies like Google and Microsoft are going to see that your emails are being sent from an IP address from a questionable email service provider, and they're just going to probably put your email in spam. For example, Zoho was pretty popular in the cold email community relatively recently, but then because they were the cheap option, they were only charging $1 per inbox per month. A lot of spammers started using them to create thousands of email accounts. And as a result, Microsoft and I think also Google as well, pretty much just started blocking all emails that were coming in from Zoho servers. So if you were sending cold emails from Zoho, then they would just go spam. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you're sending cold emails, you can use both Google and Microsoft. It's not either or, both work well. I typically use Google Workspace, but you can use either, they're both good. However, sending cold emails directly from your Google or Microsoft account isn't optimal for a lot of reasons that I don't have time to discuss in this video, but I will show you how you can connect those email accounts to your email chaser account so that you can send a higher volume of cold emails while still maintaining great sender reputation. However, sending cold emails from your Google or Microsoft email accounts is not ideal if you're doing it directly inside their platform. It's much better to use a specialized cold email software where you can connect your Google and Microsoft accounts to because it allows you to scale your outreach in a way that you can't do from the default Google and Microsoft platform. I'm going to take you inside my email chaser account now to show you how this looks. I'm inside my email chaser account and when I click create campaign, I can then name the campaign whatever I want. So I'm just going to name this campaign one and when you get to this page you're able to see all the email accounts that you have connected to your email chaser accounts and as you can see i've only connected two email accounts because this is a demo account one of them is a microsoft 365 account and then this other email account is google workspace and the reason why this is important is because you should only send about 40 cold emails per day per email account. If you send more than 40 per day per email account, then they're most likely going to go spam because if you send too high of a volume, the email service providers will start sending your emails to spam. My point is that if you're sending your cold emails directly inside your Gmail or Outlook inbox, then it becomes very problematic because there's no way to really scale. But if you use a specialized cold email software like Email Chaser, when you're creating a campaign, you're able to connect an unlimited number of sender email accounts to your campaign. And then through inbox rotation, we then automatically rotate the sending between these different sender email accounts so that each email account is still only sending about 40 max per day. So it doesn't have bad deliverability, but because you have so many connected and they're automatically rotating the sending between each other, you can scale. So for example, if I was creating this campaign, I could connect 10 different email accounts to this particular campaign. Each email account would be sending 40 per day, 10 times 40 is 400. So now I'm sending 400 cold emails per day and I'm still landing in the primary inbox, not going to spam. So that's how you can scale your outreach while still using Google and Microsoft email accounts. It's by using a specialized cold email software like Email Chaser, connecting your Google and Microsoft accounts to your campaign inside Email Chaser. And then we will automatically rotate the sending in a natural looking way. And then you can connect your email accounts to your campaign so that you can scale your outreach infinitely. Now I'm gonna click next. And then you get to this page here. 
This page is where you're able to determine how you want to email your leads. If you select the from a CSV file, that's where you're able to upload your list of leads to the campaign. For example, if you have a thousand leads that you want to email, then you could upload those thousand leads in a CSV file here. And then using the method I just described with inbox rotation, we would then email all thousand leads from all of your connected email accounts in a way where the sending volume on each account is not above 40 per day. But because we're rotating the sending, we're able to email a high number and you can scale your outreach that way. To conclude this video, I want you to know that both Google and Microsoft are equally good options for sending cold emails. You can use both and I recommend that you do use both. If you want to see more videos like this about cold email and sales, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to start sending cold emails, then sign up for free email chaser account. I hope to see you in the next video.